I'm Shaman Vijay Ronald and today I welcome you dear students of class 8 in my English class Gulmohar Reader Language for Life 9th edition In this video lecture I'll explain the poem The Lost Dances of Cranes composed by Juliet Wilson a philanthropist along with it I'll introduce the poetess to you and we'll discuss the meanings from the glossary Now students let's begin with knowing more about the poetess on your screen you can see the image it is of Juliet Wilson she was born in 1935 in Manchester that is in United Kingdom and studied in Edinburgh where she still lives it means that she is alive she is a british art historian curator and independent scholar from 1993 to 1994 she held the slate professorship of fine art at the university of oxford this is also an image of juliet wilson she is a poetess already i have told you she is also a reviewer and adult education tutor with an interest in making crafts from reused materials her chapbook unthinkable skies was published by cadder wood press she is a great blogger and she blogs at crafty green poet which deals in environmental poetry reviews an opinion along with ideas for making crafts from reused materials she also blogs at over 40 shades here you will find poetry and photography on non environmental themes the poetess juliet wilson edits the international online poetry journal known as balls of silk featuring beautiful poetry of up to 40 lines that has something interesting to say more information on balls of silk can be read from google you can also follow this very poetess on twitter okay after knowing the relevant information of the poetess now let us discuss the difficult words which has appeared in the glossary of the poem as well as in the stanzas the first word is cranes it means large birds with long necks long legs and big wings here in the image you can see the bird has long neck long legs and big wings then cranes it means tall machines with long arms used for moving heavy objects especially building materials we have the next phrase dance cities into being it means the movement of tall machines movement means the when uh, while the machine works it moves to and fro up and down so the poetess has described the movement of the tall machines in this poem then fading cackles of your energy means sharp cry of these birds are now disappearing from the old recordings why because these birds are now no more found anywhere then grainy video footage grainy means unclear or blur and altogether it means unclear or blur photos of crane birds on old video tapes the word your it is pronoun and it is the very first word of the poem this pronoun is used for the birds empty means not occupied or not filled in the poem students you will come to know that the fields are empty fields are not filled so it is not filled with what now in the present time 
it is not filled with the bird's name cranes the next word is ghost dance it means left with memories of these wonderful birds why we are left with only the memories because these words are now on the verge of extinction next is to marvel it means to fill with astonishment okay students now i am going to read this poem for you you can see that it's a very short poem but has a gigantic message for you while i read you may pay attention to each and every word of this poem the lost dances of cranes composed by juliet wilson your fields are empty now only your ghosts dance while cranes of another kind dance cities into being all that remains of you are a fading cackle of your energy and some grainy video footage that people in the cities will watch to marvel at the wonders the world once held children though this poem consists of only a few lines but the message hidden in it is massive as i have told you the poem the lost dances of cranes is an account of the past memories of the poetess juliet wilson here students you should know that it's not an enjoyable recollection of the past events rather this poem is a kind of warning it impels its readers to inculcate the sense of concern for nature and to protect it now let's see the highlights of this poem this poem is based on the past memory as i have told you juliet reflects on the evolution from the endangered species of birds to the development of cities through the construction cranes this poem is an eye opener children as it makes us realize the destruction of forests due to which large number of birds and animals are homeless nowadays and eventually what happens eventually they die by the two different uses of the word cranes the poetess brings out the harsh reality in front of her readers the presence of the bird crane reminds us the gift of mother nature to all human beings this poem earnestly request us all human beings to stop the excess use of machine cranes to save nature let's first understand the significance of the title of the poem the lost dances of cranes it is an apt title apt means to the point and particularly appropriate the title reflects on the extinction of wildlife the cranes most of these birds are dead therefore juliet laments over and expresses her sorrow and tells that humans are no more able to witness the wonderful dance of the magnificent birds as they are lost or dead we can only remember their memories of the bygone times students on your screen you can see the first stanza of the poem it comprises of only a couple of sentences this means the first stanza is made up of only two lines okay now i'll unfold the ideas and message juliet wilson wants to convey through these lines she illustrates the poem by the use of the word cranes this very word 
has two different meanings one where she talks about the birds and the other the tall machines the bird cranes show the wealth and prosperity in nature which once we had whereas on the opposite the machine cranes show the greed of humans which has brought destruction in the world children why did she write this poem because she wanted to grab everyone's attention on the problem of the extinction of these birds means these birds have probably disappeared or are at the at the present time only a handful of them are left see the first line your fields are empty now the pronoun your is used for the large beautiful crane birds juliet has actually personified the crane birds by the use of your and the word now talks about the present time or modern time juliet cries over the unstoppable deaths of these birds the first line is about something from the past and which does not exist any more in the present time the birds from the past are dead so we are not able to witness them now only your ghosts dance means we are only left with their sweet memories we cannot touch them nor hear their cackles they do not visit to the fields any more thus the fields are empty this emptiness is so horrifying children that it seems the ghosts of the birds dance in the dry and barren lands which were once the green fields and were filled with these birds when i say filled with these birds means i'm talking about when the fields were occupied by these birds and this projects bountifulness of nature but when the birds are not there when the birds are dead it denotes destruction now see further while the cranes of another kind dance cities into being here juliet talks about another kind of cranes the tall machine cranes with long arms used for construction purpose children both the cranes bird cranes and machine cranes resemble each other in lankiness meaning of lankiness is the similarity of physique and features and this line of the poem highlights the expansion of human greed and desire to the extent of the destruction of lush green fields and forests thus resulting in killing wild birds animals and a green gold forests children we take help of these tall machines and make buildings stars skyscrapers to construct new cities and to fulfill our greed we occupy the lands of animals and do you know what's the result of it because of our thoughtless actions birds and animals die so we have to understand here that this ruination is due to the excess use of various kinds of small and big machines which contributes in demolishing forests and constructing according to our needs the birds and animals become homeless as we make buildings on their lands children the second and the last stanza is made up of only one compound complex sentence as you can see on your screen we'll discuss the first half part of the sentence all that remains of you are a fading cackle of your energy and some grainy video footage it portrays 
that we humans are only left with their sweet reminiscence or memories of the fading cackles of these wonderful dancing cranes through some unclear or blur video footage the words all that remains of you reflect that very little is left of these birds the words fading and grainy tell us that the remains of the birds on the video footage are in a very bad or pathetic condition the poetess refers to the old video tapes where we can find these birds virtually but not in real forms it's a kind of warning from juliet she expresses her fear and alarms the selfish human beings not to expand their greediness rather to control their lavish and wasteful lifestyle else what will happen will eventually harm ourselves only students the unclear images and the disappearing cackles of these mighty birds on the old video tapes remind us to protect and save the birds from extinction humans should feel happy to see the real birds one day these old images and videos will be ruined or become rare and if we don't save these birds today then the next generation will be deprived of many things now students let's go through the second half part of the sentence that people in the cities will watch to marvel at the wonders the world once held it depicts that the people in the new cities means the new generation of people residing in the newly developed or constructed cities will watch to marvel it means will be surprised to see the faded unclear video clips of these large and beautiful birds they'll be in awe and wonder the words these wonders are used for the crane birds the new generation will admire these beautiful wonders of the world which were once alive in the past these people will sit in their luxurious homes and see the video clips of these species of birds as the part of their entertainment and to increase their knowledge about them here children juliet expresses not to only become the spectators or audience but to take relevant measures to protect them we have to be more sensitive and careful towards nature and our environment in order to lead good healthy and peaceful life this poem is a bitter truth a reality in front of us we humans are unable to handle the wrath of mother nature will be at massive loss so the poetess gives this message to respect and to do our bit to save this earth okay children i gave you an explicit explanation of the poem you should go through the complete video to understand it thoroughly thank you take care